Madeline Finn and the Blessings of the Animals by Lisa Papp and read to you today by Gammy. Wake up, star. It's a special day. You're up early, mom says. We don't want to miss the blessing, I say. It only comes once a year. I show mom the paper again. Blessing of the Animals, Saturday, 9 to 11 a.m. at the park. The celebration comes once a year, mom says. But blessings are all around us. Like star, I say. I give him a hug. That's right, Mom says. I have an idea. Why don't you make some more leaves? After the blessing, you can decorate the windows at the animal shelter. Star helps me gather my leaf-making things. We make leaves, small leaves, smooth leaves, and pointy leaves. Look who's here, Mom says. Bonnie, I say. Hi, Mr. Dimpo. Hello, Madeline Finn. Mrs. Dimple says, thanks for taking Bonnie to the blessing. We can't wait, I say. Then it's time to go. You're going to get a special blessing today, I tell Star. You too, Bonnie. When we arrive, there's already a long line of animals. I see dogs and cats. There are even goats. Do you think they'll run out of blessings, I ask? I don't think so, Mom says. I watch the lady in the brown robe. One by one, the animals come up, and she says something to each one. She knows a lot of blessings, I say. Mom laughs. She sure does. Behind us, someone has a goldfish in a bowl. In front, there are two ferrets on a leash and a small dog in a basket. How does she know what to say, I ask. I'm not sure, Mom says. Why don't you ask her? Finally, it's our turn. I'm Reverend Mary Alice, the lady says. You can call me Miss Mary. What's your name? Madeline Finn, I say in a quiet voice. This is Bonnie and this is Star. Miss Mary puts her hands on Bonnie's head and looks into her eyes. Your gift is bringing comfort, she says. Then she touches Star. You have so much joy to share. I look at Bonnie and Star and I can tell that they feel good inside. How do you know what to say, I ask. Miss Mary smiles. Everyone has a blessing inside, she says. We just have to look for it. Everyone, I ask. Do you have another animal for me to bless, she asks. Yes, please, I whisper. Then I get on my toes. They're not here. They're at the shelter. I see, Miss Mary says. She looks at her long line. I can tell she's thinking. Madeline Finn, she finally says. Maybe you can bring the blessing to the animal shelter. I look at Miss Mary. I don't know how to do that. She smiles. Give me your hand. Miss Mary wraps her hands around mine. Madeline Finn, she says, I bless you to know how special you are. I want you to remember all the blessings inside you. She looks into my eyes. Blessings you need to share with the world. She gives my hand a little squeeze. How do you feel now? I nod, but no words come out. Miss Mary smiles again. Here's a gift from my heart to yours. She pretends to put something in my hand, then closes my fingers around it. What is it, I ask? Courage. Did Star enjoy his blessing? Mom asks when we're back in the car. Yes. And Bonnie? Yes, I say. Kind of quiet. Everyone got a nice blessing. I open my hands, but there's really nothing there. When we get to the shelter, I tell Mrs. Dimple all about Bonnie and Star's blessings. How lovely, she says. Thank you, Madeline Finn. I'm proud of you, Mom says. Why don't you do something nice with your leaves while I help Mrs. Dimple with donations? Everyone's busy with the dogs, so we go to the cat room. All the kitties stare at me. I don't know what to say. Then Star gives me a nudge, and I remember what Miss Mary told me. Everyone has a blessing inside. I go to the first cage. Hi, Winter, I say and I notice his furry ear. It looks nice on you, I tell him. He puts his paw out and I touch it. You're going to make someone really happy, I say. I reach into my bag and pull out a leaf. I am special, I write, and I tie it to his cage. Next, I see a mama cat and five kittens. Hello, Willie, I say. Her kittens climb all over, but she doesn't mind. I pick out another leaf. I will take care of you, I write. I giggle when the kittens play with it. We will make you laugh. And I write it on the leaf for them. The next cat is hiding. 
Hello, Twilight, I say, really soft. But he doesn't turn around. His card said he's 13 years old and still looking for his forever home. I will be your best friend. I write on his leaf and I fasten it on. Pretty soon, every cat has a leaf and a blessing. Now we visit the dogs. Hi, Shiloh, I say to the first one. I look into his eyes the way Miss Mary did with me. You have a big heart, I think, and he gets a big red leaf. Hello, Lily, I say to the next dog. She's really calm and friendly. I talk to her a while and she just listens. I like to hear stories I write on her leaf. Maybe you could be a therapy dog one day, I say. That means the last cage. He has a big, happy smile and sweet brown eyes. I have a lot of love to give, I write on his leaf. Soon the whole shelter is filled with colorful leaves. Miss Mary is right, I say. Everyone has a blessing inside. I'm decorating the windows when my mom comes and gives me a hug. I saw your leaves, she says, and then she hands me one. You're my little blessing, it says, and this one I hold on to. The end. We have so much more to learn. Be blessed. Thank you.